In this down economy, sales of home safes are way up. Since the bottom fell out of the market, industry reports show a 50% increase. It seems people are looking for a place to stash emergency cash and important papers. Tonight, KSL 5 investigates how well these important safes can protect you. Well, Carol, for less than 70 bucks, they promise you some peace of mind. More and more Utahns seem to be buying these portable safes with claims that they're fireproof, even waterproof. So we put them to the test to see if they're worth the investment. You've seen the video over and over this soggy spring and summer. Floods wreaking havoc across Utah. I didn't know we, there, there could be that much water that could come in to my house. I mean, it filled up my basement like that. This is all of our childhood memories. This is everything. Just poured in the door, just couldn't stop it. True, there may be no way to stop a disaster like this, but can you protect yourself in case the worst happens? The preparation isn't much, but the preparation goes a long way. Absolutely, says Eric Fairbanks. His company deals with messes left behind by water and fire. Utah Disaster Cleanup recommends homeowners store valuables in portable home safes. We're talking anywhere from photos and, and family memories all the way to Social Security cards, um, birth certificates, death certificates, all types. These safes are growing in popularity and seem to be somewhat affordable. We bought four of them at local retail stores and they cost us between $25 and $70. Three of them claim to be waterproof and fireproof. One was just fireproof. The Unified Fire Authority agreed to test them to see if they really are. We headed to the fire training center in Magna. It will be interesting to find out if they pass the test or not. Inside each safe, we put papers, photos of our very own news team, a CD, a videotape, yeah. to see if they survive. The firefighters then place our safes on wood pallets, pack in bales of hay, and add an accelerant. So should we light them on fire? Well, let's, well, let's light. In a matter of seconds, fire engulfs all four safes. After a few moments, the plastic handles and locks melt right off. Firefighters calculate the fire's temperature at 1,200 degrees. You're at five minutes. Go ahead. Firefighters blast a hose directly at the safes and douse them in a wall of water until they're cool enough to touch. Right away, a problem. The question is, how do you get them open now? One part time for Wi-Fi. No, I don't. No key will unlock these melted messes. It takes a crowbar, even a bit of sawing, to get back into the safes. But once they're open... I think they held up remarkably well. First, we check on the three supposedly fireproof and waterproof safes. All lived up to the claims. No damage to the photos, papers, CDs, or videotapes. And inside, there's no sign of what we put them through. Are you surprised that we had that all of them held up as well as they did? Um, I don't want to say that I am, but I am, quite frankly, a little surprised that they held up as, as well as they did. The safe that's fireproof only actually stopped both flames and water. We did discover a bit of scorching on a picture and some papers. Captain Smith believes had the flames kept going, the safe might not have survived. Now, after seeing our safe test firsthand, some of the firefighters plan to buy one now. The firefighters say the best place to store a safe is in the basement because fire rises. Now, if you're worried about a burglar being able to carry it off, one of the safes we bought can be bolted to the floor. We've put a list of the safes we've tested online. Go to KSL.com to see the makes and models and where we got them and how much we paid. Thanks, Debbie. Glad we survived.